Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India session we will talk about the leaders role in uh, team based uh, organizations. Uh, uh, here we will have discuss use of teams in organizations, uh, team based organizations, types of teams in team based organizations, uh, roles among the teams, team leadership, team leadership versus the sole leadership, uh, Robert Quinn's uh, 8 leadership roles, uh, leaders role in team based organizations and uh, as usual the research paper, case study and uh, book recommendations. So, being a uh, leader is not uh, about uh, you, it is about the people that are on your team and how you can help them be successful is there. A wonderful comment is there by Susan and uh, therefore, uh, it is not uh, that is the you have got the leadership position about the team, right. But it is a highly concern that is the who are the people in your team and can, how can you make them the successful is there and that is the uh, intro sense is the leadership is there. So, it is a way of life in uh, uh, post modern organizations. Uh, it offers the best uh, opportunities uh, for the better organizational performance in the form of increased productivity and profits is there. So, it is the uh, always uh, uh, whenever we are talking about the uh, modern organizations are there and then therefore, in the here uh, the, uh, the modern organizations they are more uh, team oriented organizations are there and uh, as usual as soon as we say the team management then it leads to the cooperation and synergy. For many organizations the use of teams has led to the desirable performance uh, improvements uh, such as the improved the quality. Hmm? So, uh, and the improved the efficiency, improved the employee satisfaction and the customer satisfaction is there. So, this is the importance uh, about the formation of the team is there. For some organizations, however, the use of teams has resulted in some negative outcomes such as the um, increased cost, stress and lower group cohesion, right. So, this is also very interesting and uh, first time we are talking about this particular uh, um, content uh, in this uh, course where the team can team build with the and uh, have the negative outcome. Yes. Right? So, therefore, uh, the use of team can be negative in the case uh, if it is increasing the cost right or uh, the people are not working in the team and they every day there is a conflict uh, there are the complaints and inquiries and all. So, that will be the stress and the lower group cohesion is there the people are not having the any cohesion amongst themselves. So, team based organizations emphasize the value and importance of all employees regardless of their specific roles or the simplicity or complexity of the tasks that they perform. Now, in many organizations certain tasks are the uh, team based uh, tasks, certain tasks are the on the uh, employees the individual task uh, which he has to perform uh, means most of the task. Uh, so, in every organization there will be the tasks uh, that will be having the, uh, the those uh, individual is to be done and the, in the team is to be done. But certain organizations are the more uh, team based uh, oriented organizations and therefore, in that case uh, when traditional organizations become the team based organizations right. So, that is a culture shift. So, in modern organizations there is a need for this uh, culture shift is there from hierarchical to flat is there um, and uh, uh, from the fragmentations to cohesion is there. So, it is not in isolation the modern teams are not working uh, more um, uh, uh, the employees are uh, independently working rather, rather than uh, in the modern organizations uh, more of the task are to be work, working together. This is from the independence to interdependence is there and from competition to cooperation and from tried, uh, tried and the true to risk checking is uh, there. 
now uh, the the nature of these organizations are having the certain advantages and disadvantages are there so therefore when we are talking about the advantages is there there is a synergy is there cohesiveness will be there and uh, cohesion will be there amongst these members avoidance of the major errors are there because the uh, all all are taking the collective decision collective wisdom is used and therefore uh, uh, they, uh, the the, the um, uh, errors uh, will be noticed by the somebody if one miss the any particular point then other will be notifying and therefore the errors will be less faster better decisions will be there uh, continuous improvement uh, functioning will be there innovation because new and new ideas will be there all are the stakeholders uh, in decision making process self motivated highly motivated is there they are empowered and given the delegation also greater job satisfaction is there amongst these uh, team members and the needs of fulfillment is there so whatever they are the physiological safety social needs are there or the self esteem needs especially in, uh, and and self actualization needs so all these type of the needs are there they are getting the fulfillment is there disadvantages is there there is a pressure to conform to group standard of performance in the conduct is there and then therefore in that case uh, it, it has been found that is the uh, whenever uh, we are going for this type of these uh, team uh, based organizations right so the people those who are working they the standard of performance and conduct uh, that has to be conform the resistance to the team effort from in pinging on the autonomy is there and therefore in that case uh, uh, the the person who who wants to do the work by himself so his autonomy is uh, now shared right and therefore in that case that may, that that will may not be liked by the person and uh, they, uh, they may be the disadvantage social loafing is there and therefore in that case uh, the many people are working uh, with the uh, the one employee the other employees are also present so therefore there may be the chances of the social loafing is there group think is there so therefore in that case in spite of the team the group think is there inter group conflicts are there and uh, as a result of which uh, they will not be able to perform and the high pressure and stress is the very common uh, disadvantage which has been observed uh, into the team based organizations are there so uh, according to the cohen and bell in 1997 suggested four major types of organizational teams are there continuing work and uh, units responsible for pro for producing goods or providing services Uh, parallel teams are there pulled together from different work units or jobs to perform functions that the regular organization is not equipped to perform well uh, the project team is there produce one time outputs and the one time limited is there management teams are there coordinate and provide the direction to sub units under their jurisdiction and laterally uh, integrating independent uh, sub units across with the key business processes are there now here you see that is the when a, the work teams are very common phenomenon so in continuing works is there so therefore in that case uh, this type of the teams have been found in most of the organizations as far as the parallel teams are concerned from different work units jobs to perform functions that the regular organization is not equipped to perform well right so therefore uh, the, the traditional organizations they may not be having this type of the more teams of the parallel teams are there and uh, pro project teams are there so therefore in in that case uh, they are working for a particular focus uh, target for a period of time and therefore that will be the project team is there the management teams are there in the in, in, in across the key business processes are there so um, here we find that is the um, whenever we are talking about the uh, team role uh, the team leader so so the duties are the users team to achieve goals um, understand uh, whole project over uh, oversees process guide without dominating team leaders and support team and the team members are there so helping the team achieve productivity uh, working relationship will be there this will be the duties of the team le leader will has to be there so uh, ultimately what happens that is the here the major point is this that is the cross cultural is very very important because when the team leader nowadays is working they are working into the uh, the own overseas processes and whenever we are talking about the overseas processes are there then we uh, we have to um, work uh, under different culture 
different practices will be there and therefore, in that case uh, it becomes important that is the we are aware or we, we are able to understand and learn uh, the culture of others. So, in any team when, when they are working cross uh, cultural teams right. So, then it will take certain time. So, it will be duty of the team leader uh, to get uh, monitored and uh, get mix uh, the cross cultural uh, team members guide without uh, dominating is there. So, therefore, in that case uh, it, it, it is the he has to play a role of a guide, he has to guide how the job is to be done and the uh, he has to also help team achieve productive working relationship is there. So, at workplace uh, there should be a productive working relationship is to be there. Uh, team advisors are there, those who are having a champions a team within the organization and the communicate with the stakeholders. Uh, the facilitator is there, the schedules and conducts the team meetings and the activities serves as the resource person is there uh, and therefore, the encourages the full participation is there. So, here it is not the role of dominance right, rather than it is a role of a guide, uh, a role of a supporter and uh, ro role, uh, role of a uh, the facilitator is there right. So, therefore, in that case it becomes very very important that is the, the leaders right they, they are playing the different role very very efficiently. Now, roles among the teams are there, team roles are there, processes observes the team members are there hmm? and duties of the team members are will be the leaders and facilitator is promoting team culture focus energy on the task and listen to everyone's ideas are there. Scribe or recorder keep written records of the team meetings are there and then, then that will be using for the image sources purpose. A team leader is someone who oversees the fun, uh, functionalities of a team and if not the manager himself, the team leader monitors the quantitative and qualitative achievements of the team and reports the results to a manager. A team leader's belief is that, that the whole is greater than some of its parts. So, team leaders place the considerable emphasis on the team building and then evaluates their own performance on the basis of how well they have developed the team is there. So, that is becoming the team leader's role is there. Now, effective team leaders uh, must recognize that not everyone know how to be a team player. A very important point is there. Now, you see uh, many times uh, organizations are giving you the team player, you are not choosing your own team player and then the working with the different personalities, it, it becomes the very important for the team leader that is the who is who. But if the personality the person is having who is working with them and therefore, in that case uh, it, it is very very important uh, that is the you know the personality of your team member and also have an understanding that everybody is not a team player. And then team leader has to get work done into a team. So, he team leader must display self-sacrificing behavior and confidence is there because he, he has to prove himself as a leader and the team members will uh, when see that is their leader is doing the very uh, uh, sincerely hard working and uh, competent enough and punctual enough right. Then definitely in that case they will have that confidence that is yes we have to if you are working in this team we have to display all these uh, self sacrificing behavior. So, employ multiply uh, the influencing tactics to control and direct team members action towards the achievement of organizational goals. So, um, therefore, multiple influencing tactics will be there right. So, for example, the behavior conduct you know for example, the servant leadership style is there. Uh, for example, this uh, CSR is there any social responsibility you are doing. So, therefore, in that case uh, that is the uh, multiple influence tactics will be used. Encourage norms that positively affect the team's goals and the other those that are negative as there. So, but uh, you cannot keep happy everybody. So, there will be certain team members those who, who will be negative and therefore, it, it is important that is the uh, we have to en encourage the positive norms. Uh, no? So, therefore, that is affecting the team's goals and the and their uh, members. Observe with a keen eye what is going on in the team. So, whatever is going on on the team and then that is the immediately the leader should be able to find out that is uh, either it is go, everything is going well or not. Make contributions when necessary and if it is required to make the contribution or direction right. So, then um, in that case the leader that he has to intervene and provide whatever the support is required. 
encourage a climate of dialogue and therefore in that case always open for communication, turn obstacles into opportunities. So, naturally whenever there is a problem, a challenge is there, then definitely it creates the opportunity to think how to overcome this problem and how to provide the new solution. Must be adoptive knowing when to play different roles are there and therefore the whatever the different roles of the team leader is there, he should be able to play at the appropriate time and we must be very adoptive. Now, we will talk about the two types of the leader, solo leader versus the team leader is there. So, therefore, in that, in that case, in the solo leader plays the, uh, the unlimited roles, while, while the team leader choose to limit roles are there. So, uh, here it, it, it will be very di uh, different uh, uh, whenever you are playing this particular uh, role, um, uh, then uh, that what, what uh, uh, the um, leader decides he can do in the solo leadership, but in the team leadership, no, there are the limiting the roles are there. Strides for the conformity is there, builds on the diversity, differently opinions. So, therefore, in that case also the uh, it will be conformity versus diversity is there. Collected uh, uh, the acolytes of blind followers, right. So, and while in this case it, it is the uh, builds on the diversity is there hmm? and therefore, in that case uh, it will be totally different uh, uh, approach will be there. And then the direct the subordinates, uh, right. So, here he develops the colleagues and the project is the objectives, right. The here he, he creates the uh, vision and mission statements are there. So, therefore, in that case the role and responsibility of the solo leader vis a vis the team leader is totally different and then they have to perform accordingly. Robert Quinn's roles of the leaders is there. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, here we will find um, there are the four parameters are there. Hmm? So, clan culture Quinn's model usually denotes team based organizations. The Quinn's model suggests mentor and facilitator role of leader in team based organization is there. So, always there is a uh, uh, role of a leader is uh, has to be there is a mentor and facilitator. Mm, now, here you will see um, that is the control hierarchy is there that is a uh, uh, do things right. Hmm? And uh, while in case of this uh, uh, compete is there, do things fast, in the create uh, do things first and the collaborate uh, do things together is there. Now, we will see in the case of this uh, the external versus in uh, focused uh, uh, block is there and then short term performance will be there. So, compete market do things fast. And here what is required is that is the, uh, the uh, we have to compete, while in case of this the, the flexible and external is there, then we are creating the uh, adocracy is there that is a do things first and that is the breakthrough is there. Whenever we are talking about uh, uh, the internal and flexible is there, right, then long term development is there, collaborate uh, and uh, we do things together is there. And uh, as I mentioned about that is the uh, whenever it is the focused one is there, right, and, and the uh, inter, uh, internal is there. So, then in that case control hierarchy that will be working on this. Right. So, therefore, do things together, do things first, do things fast and do things right. So, those uh, mm, uh, uh, this particular uh, 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 function uh, of the leader right about the purpose, practice and people are concerned. So, leader is work as a coordinator is there and therefore, that is the design the workflow leader lead and manages the projects drive effectiveness is there. Uh, manage the information, monitor performance, measure quality, leader is a monitor. So, he is having the managing the information and monitoring the performance is there. Uh, when, whenever the leader is a facilitator is there, so he is a collaborator is there. Build and lead teams, manage uh, the conflict and foster collaboration is there and therefore, it is a because he is playing the role of a facilitator, here you will find that the output and efficiency is also much better. Leader as mentor is there understanding the self, develop the coach and uh, communicate the effectively and therefore, this will be for the long term development and this will be very useful will be there. And so, whenever we are having the leader as innovator, so he lead positive change, uh, think creati creatively and uh, cultivate the innovation is there and therefore, here he will be having uh, this type of the uh, always as an innovator he will work. 
and the nurture the relationships, uh, negotiate agreements and the present inspiring uh, uh, ideas are there. So therefore, a leader as a broker is working here. And so what he does, that is he is working as a relationship, he is also working on the, um, the agreements, uh, negotiate the agreements uh, is there and then also having the present inspiring uh, um, uh, their uh, ideas are there and therefore in that case uh, he is creating the advocacy is there. Leader as a producer uh, that is a uh, drive productivity and uh, build a uh, build a positive culture manage time and stress is there and short term performance is there right. So therefore, leader as a director is concerned communicate the vision get strategy goals and delegate the effectively and therefore, this is a short term performance will be there and he is completing that particular task. So, ultimately what we can say is that is Robert Quinn's roles of leaders, uh, they are having the different uh, roles uh, uh, of the leaders are the coordinator, monitor, facilitator, mentor, uh, innovator, uh, broker, producer and director is there and this is creating the compete, control, collaborate and create the advocacy is there. So, these are the different uh, roles and uh, uh, which will be played within the organization um, uh, in the by the leader. So, uh, the it is a trust and inspiring teamwork, coaching team members, group members towards higher level of performance, facilitating and supporting the team's decisions and uh, expanding the team's capabilities, um, creating a team identity is there, anticipating and influencing the change. Uh, inspiring the team towards high performance levels right and uh, enabling and empowering the group, group members and uh, encouraging the team members is there. So, therefore, this will be the leaders role will be there. Now, we will talk about the certain more leaders role by the different various researchers uh, they have classified uh, into the different uh, uh, the dimensions and uh, the first one is that is a team leader as a chief motivator. And through the leader support, encouragement and training, followers feel a sense of self, self worth, appreciation and value for their work. Hmm? So, because the leader is a chief motivator, so he is having the full support and encouragement right and giving the training to develop a sense of self worth and appreciation and value for their work and they respond with high performance is there. Uh, as this relationship mature, the entire work becomes more cohesive and the payoffs only increases there. So, therefore, in this case uh, as a role of the chief motivator, the leader is able to motivate. The team leader as coach and mentor is concerned. The team based organizations need leader who are good at coaching and mentoring followers, especially new team members. Uh, like any good coach, they are experienced and knowledgeable in the team processes and is capable of developing the trust and teamwork norms in the team members are there and uh, this is the another important role uh, um, uh, of the leader uh, as a chief motivator is there. So, similarly the team leader is as a coach and uh, mentor is also there. So, here you will find that is the they, they, they are very knowledgeable and therefore, the team process are capable of developing trust because knowledge is developed among the team members. So, and uh, because of that trust the teamwork norms in the team members are well adopted. The team leader uh, as a role model is concerned right. So, a team leader must model the behavior uh, that he or she wants to see in the uh, team members. For instance, a leader's self-sacrificing behavior and display of uh, mm, uh, the self-confidence to uh, do influence team members right and therefore, in that case uh, uh, it, it is the self-confidence is there and do uh, and the team members are making that particular influence. Self-sacrificing leaders are those um, who go above and beyond what is expected of them is there. Hmm? So, therefore, in that case uh, uh, it, it, it is becoming the always uh, uh, how Mm, uh, these uh, sacrificing leaders are those uh, who are going the uh, above and beyond what is expected of them mm? and they do not just issue orders, they get involved in making things happen. So, uh, team, team, leader, uh, team leaders uh, as a role model right. So, therefore, in that case is uh, sacrificing as we have discussed in the uh, previous slide and then the hard work and this is same is applicable in the family also. So, whenever we see that is the, the head of the family 
right that is uh, doing the very hard work uh, and uh, uh, making the full efforts to run the family uh, with the high uh, enthusiasm and the uh, physical labor and bearing the stress. So, therefore, in that case the same will be uh, observed by the team members in the workplace also. That is if the team leader is becoming the role model then definitely in that case. So, they will be having the self sacrificing who go above and beyond what is expected of them you know? and they, they will not be demanding, they do not just orders, they get involved in making things happen because they know how the family is suffering, similarly the organization is suffering. The team leader is a team culture enforcer, the team leader plays a leading role in fostering a team culture and that supports the team's goals and operational strategies are there and there uh, here it becomes the very very important as a what is the team culture is there. If the team culture is already there, so everybody is pushing for to create that culture. A team culture specifies standards and values that govern team members behavior is there and therefore, in that case uh, the, this particular team members they will be having that uh, values and uh, their, their team members behavior. The leader may insist on team incentives over individual incentives to promote team performance and therefore, in that case uh, the team leaders right. So, they may insist on the team incentives right. So, therefore, in that case it is the not the individual incentives rather than it is the incentives for the all. So, all are working together so that will be shared and to promote the team performance and that sharing of the team, team rewards, team incentives are there because the team has performed. So, that, that will be shared by the, uh, the team members and that will promote uh, uh, the moral of these uh, team. Uh, and, and as a result uh, the output also. The team leader as a cheerleader is there and therefore, leaders with the strong social skills tend to have the greater influencing abilities hmm, uh, because the uh, they, they are with the uh, as a team's leading cheerleaders the leader inspires and motivates the team members right and to achieve the high level of performance are there. So, these cheerleaders will be always motivating talking positive and encouraging these uh, uh, the team members right. So, that is the high level of performance will be there and when a team leader can leverage his or her social skills to obtain the resources for the team, he or she is said to possess the social capital is there, a beautiful point is there. So, that is the whenever you are working as a cheerleader no? for your team members right and uh, then as a, so naturally the social skills that will be emerge and that the, you will obtain the resource for the team and socialization process will start and then the process the social capital and uh, as a result of which socialization process the social capital will be developed. The team leader is a resource person, the team leader's role is to be the resource person that recognizes team needs and attends to them in the timely fashion. It is a really a very, very uh, practical and important point that is your team, team members and they want, uh, they want uh, the certain uh, uh, the support from you, they want the certain resources from you right and therefore, if the leader can provide those resources you know, every time normally what happens that is these uh, uh, team members they come to the team leader uh, for the certain gain of the resources. So, that they can work efficiently and they can get, deliver the output timely. So, therefore, in that case uh, these capabilities enables him or her to address the areas of weaknesses. So, the team can function more effectively and efficiently is there. So, this is all about that is the and uh, the roles of the team members and uh, they they by the these different uh, roles of the team uh, members, uh, uh, team leaders and team members uh, uh, I am sure that is the your team effectiveness. Uh, once the leader will understand what role he is having, the team members will understand what roles they are having and all are having the roles of the working together and whenever this type of these objectives are, uh, uh, are uh, understood and practiced right in spite of the different personalities in team members, but team members have enough matured may not be the all, but may be the sum of them then definitely that team will work successfully. Now, on basis of this certain uh, the literature I would like to uh, share with you what is uh, existing that is a leading empowered teams and examination of the role of the external team leaders and team coaches. Uh, this is the given uh, uh, in this paper that is the how a leader can effectually empower his team is there right. So, they have, uh, whether uh, this empowerment right uh, is really good and how the external team and the team coaches they can play the 
role is there. Now, documents is as a multinational office equipment and technology firm. So, uh, these the customer service engineers worked in empowered teams and were responsible for planning, organizing, assigning and completing their work as well as the making the meaningful financial and HR decisions. Team coaches is consisted of the organizational development and change professionals who were experts on team development. Each coach supported and provided leadership to 15 to 20 teams is there. So, what the what is the study uh, results or findings of this, uh, this study? The, the results of the study indicate that the coaches significantly influence team empowerment and thereby team processes and performance whereas the external team leaders do not. So, this is very important right that is the uh, uh, that coaches are playing the important role. However, uh, these uh, uh, the team processes and performance uh, whereas the external team does not leaders do not, external team leaders do not, right, internal they are providing. Findings also indicate that HR and organizational supports relate positively to the team empowerment and that the effect of coaches on empowerment is beyond the effects of HR and organizational supports. So, team interdependence and the external team leaders that will be affecting. These are the research limitations and why we, we have to read these limitations so that we can understand in which condition this is possible and this is not possible is there. And if we go for this particular concept, what are the practical implications are there and then the, to focus the organization introduction of team coaches to have helped a prop, uh, to propel the empowerment initiative forwarded. This is the case study as usual that is a Frederick W. Smith FedEx case study is there and this, this is talking about that is the how hierarchy and command and the team structure that is affecting uh, the, uh, the team performance is there. So, employees they introduce put con, uh, couriers on the road 12 minutes earlier than before and half the number of packages they delivered late. So, this is the case study. On basis of this case study, these are the questions. What type of the team does FedEx use? Provide evidence from the case to support your answer. Describe the role of FedEx managers play in facilitating team effectiveness. What motivates the members of the FedEx to remain highly engaged in their teams? Leaders play a critical role in building effective teams and discuss how FedEx managers perform some of their roles in developing effective teams are there. And this is the um, book recommendation, uh, uh, the five roles of leaderships, uh, tools and best practices for personable, uh, personable and effective leader is there. So, in this book uh, um, we find that is the there are these uh, explore the five roles of successful leaders, the charismatic and convincing communicator and the always efficient and effective manager, the motivating team leader who knows how to delegate the empathetic psychologist uh, interacting consistently with each uh, employee and the skilled problem solver who manages the conflict and the implements changes there. So, right from the uh, uh, role of the um, commun uh, communicator, efficient uh, um, and effective manager, uh, delegation, uh, role of the delegation, I, I also have been the psychologist uh, and uh, a problem solver that we manage the conflict and implementation the change is there. So, by reading this book also you will I am sure you will get the relevant in, in important input. These are the references from where this literature has been taken and you can go further in details for reading this particular literature is there. This is all about uh, the, this session. Thank you.